this morning. Ansley Watson is visiting the Marquette Senior High School. Back to school for Ansley, but she'll be talking with the dance team, the fun part of school. Ansley has a little bit more on that. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Vicki. Yes, I'm standing in the Marquette High School gym, where if you come here, you'll be able to see the dance team's routines. So they've actually had a lot of awesome accomplishments recently. In a little bit, we'll get to talk to the dance coach and the girls about their journey, where they've been, what they expect to do in the future. Now, the real question is if I can prove to them that I actually have dance skills myself. We'll, we'll see how, about that in a little bit. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. <laughs> okay, well, good luck on that, Ansley. <laughs> Look at her. Wow. See, it's a natural. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes as we get ready for the day. And, and just so you know, we were talking about she, when she was doing the luge yesterday. Yeah. She did hurt her ankle just a little bit. So she might be like, oh, I can't do that. No. Yeah, she, she lost a little control. Yeah. There said. <laughs> um, she went down the hill and forgot literally everything she was told. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I can relate to yeah, stuff like that. The, moment, sometimes. Like, oh. the Marquette Senior High School dance team is doing quite well this year. This morning, Ansley Watson is going to tell us more about how they have been uh, getting those routines ready to go. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. These girls, I'm so excited for them. They've accomplished so much this year. I'm joined by the coaches and some of the captains. We're going to speak with them here. Jessica and Brooke, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Yeah, we're excited to be here. Thanks for having us. No problem. So dance team really is like a, a year round sport. What is it, especially being coaches, what do you guys have to do to prepare for the whole year? Well, we start in April, we have tryouts and then we begin right away in June, mm -hmm. practicing our home show routine, which we take to Just For Kick summer dance camp at the end of June. So we really start in June and go all the way to March. So the girls get very little break and and it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work too. Yeah, it is. And then you actually do the choreography, correct? Yeah, I, did, I choreographed the dance they took to the palace competition this year, and that was a lot of fun to watch the girls do that because it was all in my head for a while, and then to see it actually happen was exciting. Yeah, that's actually like that's really encouraging for you, I'm sure. Yeah, it was a good surprise to see them win second with my dance, so that was fun. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk more about this competition, girls. You're the captains. Go ahead and tell me your first and last name, and then what year you are. I'm Eliza Larson and I'm a senior. I'm Jamie LaHillier and I'm a senior. I'm Milan Marietti and I'm a senior. Thank you girls so much for joining me this morning. So what kind of goals did you set out for yourself at the beginning of this year? Um, first of all, our team, since it's bigger this year, team bonding was definitely one of our goals. Mm -hmm. Also improving on our skills, so like triples and quads, and then just kind of going to a competition in general was also a goal. And what kind of dedication does it take? Well, we've been working really hard since June. Um, we don't really get that many breaks. We've been working pretty hard all, all year really. Um, it just takes a lot of dedication for dance in general. And then talk to me, some people might not even know what dance team all requires and the types of dances. What guys, what types of dances do you guys have to practice? Mainly we do palm, which is like dancing with palm. Palm is like really strong and you have to be sharp. And we do kick, which is like the kick lines. And jazz, which is like flowy and like the type of like normal dance really. Mm -hmm. And hip hop, which is like our favorite probably. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of fun. So talk to me about this competition. It's a huge competition. You guys won second place. It was a huge surprise. Kind of talk to me about what that felt like. If you were even expecting to get second? Uh, not at all. It was a huge surprise, and it was just like, so we felt like so proud of ourselves and stuff, and all of our hard work had paid off. So. You guys are the only UP school to be down at Detroit for this competition, correct? Yeah. It was really crazy. Um, nobody really knew who we were. We were, uh, were a much smaller school compared yeah. to them. So everyone was kind of like looking to see how we ended up being. And I think they were pleasantly surprised. Yeah, for sure. And I know that you guys celebrated hard and you're so excited about it, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Very. We all kind of were not really expecting second. So when they announced our names, we all were super excited and we cried. <laughs> and it was just really awesome. Well, thank you girls so much. Stay with us because I think later in the hour, we'll get to see more of the girls and talk to them about what they accomplished. Stay with us. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Okay, but Ansley, you didn't do any routines with them. You work on that for next time, okay? Don't We're worry, we'll show you the next one, the next one. Okay, all right. We don't want to miss out on that. It would be fun to see. So. It will be fun to see. <laughs> So, you know, we were watching that. They have a lot of enthusiasm. I think a lot of people are going to be enthused about this weekend. Yeah, sounds like Welcome it. back. Well, severe winter conditions are the number one factor in controlling 
Well, that's, that's not right. They are the number one factor in controlling deer population. But before we get to that, we're going to head out to Ansley Watson. She's at the Market High School dance team talking about some accomplishments they've had this morning. And Ansley, uh, as my sister always told me, never forget the importance of well-timed jazz hands. <laughs> Yes, jazz hands. I don't think we're going to be doing that this oh. morning, though. Oh, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> so this morning, I'm joined by a couple of girls on the dance team and the coaches, and we might show you a move <laughs> later on, so stay with us. So, coaches Jessica and Brooks, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having us. It's been fun. Yeah, so you guys just got back from a huge, huge competition and got second place down in Detroit. Talk to me a little bit about that. It was really exciting to go. Um, the team's been working really hard and we accomplished some goals technically that we wanted to get and put them into our routine. So when we won second, it was it was shocking and exciting. So. And you were telling me this is the first time in how many years that you guys have done this? This is the first time in 15 years that we've been to the competition in Auburn Hills. So it was really exciting to take the team back yeah. and do something that I had done in high school. Sure. Now I know you guys have some routines coming up in a basketball game. When is that basketball game that people can come and see the dance team? Our next basketball game is the 28th and 29th and we're going to be performing one of our jazz routines. So it's a little bit different than the routine we took down to competition, but it's fun because we get to do different styles and showcase our talent in different ways. And then I know you have like your big showcase event but in March. Talk to me about that. What is that? That's called our Not Just a Halftime Show, and it's kind of a little bit of a pun because usually we perform just at halftime. So at that show, we really get to showcase all of our dances that we have done throughout that season. And we also invite other UP dance teams and other UP dance studios to come and perform. It's a really big event, so it's fun. March 7th at 7 p.m., so come and check us out. Yeah, how fun. So I'm joined by a couple girls on the dance team, Eden and Amanda. Thanks for joining me this morning. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, you how many years have you been on the dance team? Um, well, my first year was last year, and I was on the JV. I was on the JV for two years, and then this is my second year in varsity. So kind of explain to me, what is it like being on the dance team? Um, it's like dancing with 20 of your best friends. <laughs> That's so sweet. When you went to the competition, what was it like when you guys got second place? Were you expecting it? Was it a huge surprise? Um, honestly, I think when they didn't call us for third or fourth, we all got a little nervous because the teams down there are really good, and they practice really hard. So, yeah, it was pretty exciting when we got second. <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, okay, we're going to show you a move here. So I'm going to hand the mic over, and uh, let's see if I can do it. They taught me earlier, and I think I can, but let's just see. All right, girls. Nice job. Thank you. I think I did it right. Did I do it good? Yeah, okay, good. Thank good. you. Good. Well, you guys are great, fantastic, very talented group of girls. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yes, Reporting you. live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 Morning News after the break.